This is Louise for MMA Crazy and we're here with Bubba Bush. Now Bubba, you're fighting this Saturday at UFC Dublin. What interested you most about being on this card? Oh, I mean, I've always wanted to uh, come to Dublin, come to Ireland. That's just great, but it's not what we're here for. You know, we're here to fight. So um, I like the opponent, I like the matchup, but I really just wanted to get back in the ring. I had surgery last year, a year ago, was out for a while, and it's just the first opportunity. I said, put me on a card, and that's the first one they offered me, so I said yes. Okay, so it's more about the fight rather than kind of the experience of the fans. Absolutely. Obviously, a lot I think of people. We got a great, you know, a great deal in that. It's yeah. absolutely a dream come true. I always wanted to. You know, I first signed with the UFC, I was like, hopefully, I'll fight in Dublin someday but um, I just took the first fight they gave me absolutely because I want to get back in the ring and talk about your UFC debut obviously that was a, a little bit of a while ago now but what's your kind of uh, thoughts and feelings on that now looking back I mean it's a huge disappointment but um, in the wake of what's going on with USADA right now and all of the anti-doping things I think it uh, kind of reaffirms what the UFC is doing and the importance of it so it, you know lost the fight you know, and just because he's cheating doesn't really help me deal with that, right? I've got to come back and train and should be able to overcome regardless. Um, but I'm glad to see what they're doing uh, to prevent that in the future. So. so how do you feel now mentally, obviously having the surgery as well, how do you feel mentally going into this fight? Uh, a lot more prepared. I had a lot more time to actually think about this fight. The last fight was on a, a two-week wake from my, from my last, uh, you know, um, fight before that and so I didn't have a lot of time to focus on that opponent or that fight it just kind of got thrown in there um, so I've had a lot more time to sit down and think about this one and prepare for it. So you're fighting Gareth McLennan um, what did you think of him then as an opponent for you when they first kind of announced it? Uh, he reminds me a lot of myself honestly I just I think I can do it better so, yeah. And you're both obviously coming off of your losses on your UFC debut, so do you feel like there's a lot on the line? Do you feel any pressure because of that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is this is a fight to keep your job, you know, this is it. Um, I mean, technically ended up with a no contest, but it doesn't change, you know, it's a loss in my mind, so I need to get back on that horse. How, how much of a big part do you think the mental kind of preparation takes over? It's huge. I think it's everything for me. I mean, physically, it's, it's you know, obviously very important to show up physically ready, but mentally, it's going to be who wants it more. So how have you been preparing then uh, for his kind of, how do you think your style is going to match up? Um, so, yeah, like I said, very similar styles. So I think we'll meet head to head and we'll, you know, we'll um, just see who's better at the same things I hope but I got around and I figure in uh, South Africa you know he may not have the opportunity to train with a very diverse crowd um, in Texas we've got a great MMA scene so I traveled a lot you know went to Austin Houston different cities Shreveport Louisiana trained with a lot of different professionals a lot of different coaches so seen a lot of different styles anything else that you think makes you the better fighter <laughs> I mean just like I said the same thing just better yeah Hoping so. Lord willing, let's do it. So then how do you feel that, obviously being so similar, how do you think it's going to unfold? Do you think it's going to go the, the full? Um, I, don't, I don't think so, no. I'd like to get a finish, you know. Um, again, I don't want to sit there and, and grind out a fight and have it, have it be too boring. Um, the finish is what we're here for. So do you go into a fight thinking, okay, I want to get the finish, I'm going to get this done? Always, always. I mean, I don't have a lot of fights that have gone to decision, neither does he. And so, and I don't expect us to sit there and just uh, grind, you know, I'd like to see a finish. So what can you say that the fans can expect from you? Obviously, if, if the Irish fans haven't seen you fight before, what, what would you say they can expect? Um, pretty typically up in your face. I, I like to push really hard, so I'll be a little more relaxed this time, maybe settle in a little more, but it's, it's usually just um, pedal to the metal. And how do you think the Irish fans are going to react on Saturday? I think that's sort of the uh, the Irish creed too, right? Don't sit around and, and teetote. Yeah, get up there and get in it. So. Well, we look forward to seeing that fight. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. Hey, Bob.